Okay. First most basic thing to do with the surf, okay, is to get the idea we're gonna go up there. So we go and catch the ball. So get so the ball comes back to your hand. And this hand is pointed straight up. You've got a straight line shoulder to elbow. So we go one, catch. Two, we go one, catch your head, catch the ball. One, catch your head, catch the ball. I think it's really important that the weight transfer go forward as you toss the ball. So you go one, touch, catch. That's the most basic, simple motion of the surf. Okay, so we start from there. So now we get, and we can do this here, we can do it a little closer to the net, but I want this action. So, toss it, when I get the toss, I'm always bringing my weight forward as I toss the ball. I can't toss the ball and have it come back to my outstretched hand. Can't expect to hit the surf. So first there. So next, do that and meet the ball. First, just to meet the ball. Come from here, toss it and meet it. Toss it and meet it. And that starts to get you, you know, on the most basic level. So now we go the next. We we sit. We're still. Go right there, toss it, meet it, and have it go to there. Notice the racket is going to there. Toss it, and meet it. So I get this action. So to try and get that action, they get the idea. Still always weight transfer as they toss it, just the racket here, toss it, and right. Uh, what is the guy's name? Uh, modern tennis, the videos. Uh, got his name, Oscar, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And in his videos, he does something where he takes the racket like this and he says, just go this way. And that actually gets you the idea of, of internal shoulder rotation. So we get to there, so we go here. Now we start to go add this backswing with the weight transfer and go one and, and just meet the ball with the racket outstretched. Just meet the ball and get the ball to go forward over the net. Now if we can go from there and get to here. So we start there, then we get to here. Finally, we get the whole thing. Just to be that simple, okay? If you have to break it down, if you have to break it down, and you want to do the backswing, I have a drill I call the hiccup because I want the weight transfer with the toss. So we get the racket up there, rock back, then rock forward, toss it, and hit it. You can do it that way, okay? If we want, don't just put it here, you know, we want to feel the backswing with the weight transfer. So then, you're putting it all together. So, that's the most simple kind of way of saying, okay, I gotta get, let's get that going. So I have a drill I call the burp. The burp is a very small piece of the serve. It's just this plate. So down, up, down, up, kick. And notice my elbow hardly moved. Down, up, down, up, kick. So that gets me to internal shoulder rotation. Because when I go to hit the serve, I have to do all of that, okay? So we get, we get that action. The next one that I like to use, I call it the bubble. This came up the hiccup, the burp, and the bubble. Just as names that we were talking about. So we do this little burp, then we pull the racket back and drop it down and go up, and then drop it down and hit. So that becomes a full motion. And the problem is, when you're trying to hit the serve, the racket from here never gets to a back scratch. That's a misunderstanding. The racket never gets there. Before your racket gets down, your body starts, and that swings the racket over to the right. It's very important that your racket get over where the shaft of the racket is parallel to your spine. If you put it here, and then you turn, the racket's still over here, and it's going that way. That would really good. We need to get it over there. And so, the bubble accomplishes that by going one. When you swing the racket this way, the momentum takes it that way. So we go one. Two, three. 
and that gets them into this action real well. I found that that's really very helpful. One, two, three. And as much as you can, always do something with rhythm. Don't just do it in pieces and, and take the rhythm away. So those are, those are my essential drills for the motion. Then toss it and catch it. Toss it and catch it. Get so you can do this in one, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. One, two, two, one. Notice my feet are not coming around. I want my student to learn to do this. Then they can learn to do this. And finally, they can learn to do that. But worrying about doing the legs before you have this properly accomplished is a mistake in my view. That's what they're doing most of the time now. They're teaching the leg shift, the leg thrust a lot. I want this to be very well founded. So I gotta get the toss and catch. If I have two balls, I have like a 16 count drill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16. So I'm completely in rhythm and a repeatable rhythm. Maybe I'll be able to serve in the third setter when I'm tired if I have control of that rhythm. The other drill is the figure eight. I pretend that I'm standing in narrow alley. Why don't you come around behind me? I pretend that I'm standing in a narrow alleyway, two feet wide, 30 foot high thin glass walls. And I don't, obviously don't want the walls to break. So my swing is going to be in this alleyway to there. That would be the normal end of my swing. I go here and I come around. To practice a continuous motion, I keep going without hitting that wall. I make a big circle back in the beginning and start again. One, one, and two. And ideally, you should be able to do the rhythm repeatedly and hold like a metronome. So the ultimate drill, when you put that all together, is what I call the 24 count serve. And that's a figure eight, a toss and catch, a hit, a figure eight, a toss and catch, a hit, like a metronome. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If the rhythm is there, you have a much better chance that the serve will hold up. So those are the key things that I use to make the serve work.